Welcome, travelers, to Ordenia. It's been a while. In the time since last we met, we haven't stopped working. Today, I present you our biggest update yet, update 1.3. Let's jump right in with a review of new features. In the last Ori crew, our original mission was to take a story-driven, choices heavy classic RPG and mix it with elements from Souls-like games. We have been taking your comments, your feedback, your insights and ideas and weaving them into an improved version of the game. We have added a map in the patch 1.2 and improving it with more, and most importantly, more clear navigation points. We are also adding more navigation points to first two levels of the game, with more hints and short tutorials on the way, so you can get used to the game work and mechanics more easily. Another big issue for some of you was the save system, which did not allow manual saves. It took a lot of work because the game wasn't originally designed for this feature, but since it was an issue for many players, we decided to make it. Now you can make manual saves or load previous ones at any terminal in the game. Another game mechanic that was not prized by all was the fact that word refresh after every visit to the terminal. That's now being changed. After the second visit of each terminal in the game, you will be prompted to choose if you want to refresh the map with the new enemies and your stats, or if you want just to level up and continue without it. As a new feature, or bonus, we have also added two completely new locations with puzzles. If you solve them both, you will get some pretty cool and also new sci-fi armor. In addition, we have looked at issues you have reported in online co-op. I can now confirm that we have made huge updates to the online co-op experience. Our engineers made major fixes to the netcode. That means a more stable online multiplayer experience in general, desync problems limited to minimum, missing content for the client has been fixed. Along with the quality of life improvements, such as the fact that players in online co-op are now able to see each other's help bars. So generally, client player has now much better experience and can play the game with all design features. We also made many improvements to combat. It's now easier to parry and read enemies' counterattacks. Stamina management has also been greatly improved, so it should be easier to play a mage in a single player, for instance. Last but not least, we made significant improvements to some boss fights. Finally, drum roll please. We have made a game tailored for the Steam Deck console. We really like this piece of great hardware, so we heavily optimized the performance and UX to fit perfectly to this handheld. Those are the big news with the current update 1.3. We have also made many small improvements through the game that you will find in the list below this video. It took a while, but we wanted to bring you the best update possible, and I believe that we have done that. The game is now at its best. If you played the release, waited to buy till now or are hearing about it for the first time, now is the best time to jump in. Even if you have already played through a few times, there is new stuff for you waiting. Thank you for your support. We couldn't do it without your feedback.